Hello everyone, this is Dan Buzatu from IFM Australia and my colleague uh, This is Adi from IFM Australia Okay, so we decided to do a series of uh, practical tests with yes. our new displays um, Yet they go to tough testing in Germany, but uh, yeah, we want something more practical here on ground in Australia <laughs> That's correct, right. yes. yes So what's the first test, Adi? Uh, so the first test what we have done is we have put two displays in this uh, small portable fridge here and as you can see the temperature here is sitting at minus 17 degrees uh, so what we will be doing is we will be taking it out now and then Dan will power it up uh, power up the screens and we will then test, test the touch functionality to make sure that the touch is still working while we see a little bit of a frost on the screen okay thank you well the displays go much less than uh, to 17 degrees but uh, we don't have a deep freezer here uh, and the scope of this uh, as Eddie mentioned is basically to see how we handle the frost it will be quite a bit of a frost because we've seen it before yeah, and then it will be quite a bit of a water which <laughs> for example our mobile devices our smartphones not happy with uh, frost i think yeah. and i haven't tested but not happy with water that's for sure yeah that's so right. thank yeah. you eddie okay let's do it then let me get the first one out then so the first one is uh we have both 12 in screen. So here you go. Oh. It's uh, it's cold. You see? So we have a program running, a display here. And um, yeah, we would like to show you that uh, this is frost, basically. Yeah. Um, scratched look, a bit of snow. <laughs> Let's wait for the display to power up. It should take about 8 to 10 seconds. Correct, yeah. I think it's so cold you can't hold it for long as well. No, yeah. to be honest, it's very, very cold, guys. <laughs> but uh, look, it's power up and we have a display. We have a program running at the moment here. Um, yes. Yeah. I think uh, some touch functionality and yep. um, I can try to touch it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and oh, no problem. And it's frost. I'm not sure if you can really see it, but it's frost and it's cold as. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can, you can see that the, the display is kind of, uh, kind of blurred out because of the frost. Uh, but you can still see some of the touch functionality working uh, really well. So you can see the difference and how well uh, they operate even under yeah. such extreme condition. And it's probably rated for even more. So, uh, well, Eddie, it's very cold. So I'm impressed with this one. What's okay. next now? Uh, next one I think we've got is the 7 inch screen. So I'll just get that out of this fridge as well. There you go, Dan. Okay. Yeah, another cold screen. one in here. Yep. So this one here is uh, the the difference between the twelve and the seven. Obviously, is the size, but it's also it's got the buttons on on one side uh, as well. So you can see also a, a little bit of uh, frosting on the buttons, and but you can see the screen is the same uh, a layer of frost. And it's frosting as uh, as we speak, Eddie. And my yes. my yes. hand is getting colder as we yeah. speak. To be honest, yeah. Yeah. just trying to hold from the connector now. Yeah. And I look at the frost, guys. Uh, I scrap it. Now, yeah, it's got a touch functionality. Let's try. There you go. So, no yeah. effect at all. No problem. It works really nicely. Yeah. Seamlessly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, the next test we're thinking of uh, let's let those two displays to warm up a bit, which means the frosty will melt and create quite a bit of water on top of them. Correct. And yes. see if they work. Work as well. The yeah, for that, we take just a short break. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you, guys. We're back. Yes, we are. Yeah. Now, finally, after some 10 minutes, and my hands are really cold. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, we have yeah. some water. Yes. You can see, uh, see a lot of water on the surface of the screen. So, look at it. Now, the touch function is here in our, in our case. So, oh, so much water and no problem. That's impressive. Because, uh, that this is would, impressive. Yeah. Because this would not be a scenario, I guess, in a normal touch screen, like a phone. We have water on top of the of the uh, of the screen, but here you can see Dan can change pages without any issues at all. No even problem. With, uh, even with water on top. Let's try the two of as well. Yeah, I know. So, yeah. <laughs> 
still lots of water, as you can see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's wait for, for it to boot up a second. So, again, in our program, the touch functionality is in here, and no problem. Um, believe me, it's plenty of water on the screen. Yeah, seamless, huh? Yeah. Not at all. So, yeah, that works really well. Thank you very much. Thank you. I guys. see you for other next soon. Bye bye. See ya. See ya.